Hello and welcome. My name is Cooper Dean, and I'm the Fellowship Director for Musculoskeletal Imaging here at the University of Florida Department of Radiology in beautiful Gainesville, Florida, home of the Florida Gators. I'm excited to offer more information about our Musculoskeletal Fellowship Training Program. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about our training experience here at UF Health, the responsibilities, opportunities, and perks of being a fellow here, our IT infrastructure and technology, the good life in Gainesville, our fellows and where they are now, and then how to apply and additional information about the fellowship. Our mission here at UF Health is threefold. We believe in delivering outstanding patient care, providing superior training education, and then affording opportunities for distinctive scholarly activity. Once you start here, you're going to find that you have a central role in patient management. You're gonna be plugged right in, being in the middle of a multidisciplinary team, and to that end, we're looking for people who work well with all the members of our service team. Our emphasis here on outstanding patient care has dovetailed well with the new emphasis on the recent ABR examinations. We're a very hands-on program and you're going to do a lot of procedures here, imaging guided procedures of all sorts, fluoroscopically guided, CT guided, as well as ultrasound guided. With regards to case volume, UF Radiology read approximately 540,000 cases last year. The musculoskeletal section read approximately 20% of those studies, so you're going to see lots of cases during your time here in training. The MSK faculty, fellows, and residents work at a freestanding, gorgeous outpatient facility, the UF Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Institute, located approximately two miles west of the main campus. We have our own 1.5 and 3 Tesla magnets, our own CT scanner, and a dedicated fluoroscopic unit. This aerial photograph shows the North Tower of Shands, the South Tower, which contains our Level 1 Trauma Center, and then off camera is the new East Tower, the Heart and Neurovascular Center. These facilities are the locations where we perform our inpatient procedures and CT-guided biopsies. During your fellowship, you'll rotate through four major rotations, sports, tumor, procedures, and ER slash trauma. Our sports rotation is a busy rotation by virtue of the fact that we have a large competitive orthopedic surgery program and a strong sports medicine practice. Typically, you'll read anywhere from 15 to 30 MRIs per day and anywhere from five to 10 CTs. Also, you're gonna find that we're interacting with our referring clinicians throughout the day, and we look forward to integrating you into that process. Our tumor rotation is also very busy by virtue of the fact that we have a robust orthopedic oncology practice. We have a large referral catchment area, and that affords you an amazing depth and breadth of pathology during your time here as a fellow. On a typical tumor clinic day, you'll help with the reading of all of the cases from the orthopedic oncology clinic, several chest CTs looking for pulmonary metastasis, occasional chest abdomen and pelvis CTs looking for primary tuber in people with osseous metastases, and any multiple myeloma studies that occur during the day. When you're on procedures, you'll assist with the diagnostic arthrograms as well as the therapeutic injections. Most of these are fluoroscopically guided, but we occasionally do CT and ultrasound guided procedures. Additionally, we do imaging guided bone and soft tissue biopsies for the orthopedic oncologists. The fellows also are asked occasionally to help out with the ER trauma rotation. We're a busy level one trauma center and the fellows mainly help out with the cross-sectional imaging because the R1s are typically accounting for the radiographs in preparation for their call experience. Here's a composite showing our five full-time MSK faculty members, Dr. Charles Bush, Dr. Ivan Davis, myself, Dr. Woody Hunt, Dr. Troy Story, our section chief. We're very much a learn by doing fellowship here. You're going to have multiple face-to-face -face readouts with your attending physician throughout the day. You'll also get the opportunity to, to participate in case reviews, topic sessions, and we strongly encourage independent learning outside of the reading room. Fellows give weekly case conferences to residents, and you also have access to the University of Florida's WITI program. Several years ago, our department recognized the utility and importance of online learning and created the Wisdom and Diagnostic Imaging Program. It's a three-pronged platform, which has both simulation, online learning, and teaching components. If you would like to find out more about this program, please feel free to check out the website, witty.xray.ufl.edu. Fellows also participate in our multidisciplinary conferences. We have a weekly sarcoma conference where we meet with the orthopedic oncologists, medical oncologists, and bone pathologists to discuss difficult cases. We have a periodic arthroscopy conference where we discuss discrepancies between the arthroscopy reports and our reads with our, our sports arthroscopists. And then we have a periodic 
once monthly rheumatology conference where we sit down and discuss cases with the adult and pediatric rheumatologists. Between the faculty teaching and comprehensive exposure to the diverse pathology and procedures that you will encounter here during your year at fellowship training, we think you will find this experience to be an amazing waypoint on your journey to becoming a valued expert in musculoskeletal radiology. The MSK fellows will be asked to read out the cross-sectional imaging for their assigned rotation with their attending physician throughout the day, as well as independently read approximately 30 x-rays from the general MSK list. We also ask the fellows to evaluate procedural consults for both outpatients and inpatients that pop up during the day. Call at our facility is not onerous and it generally accounts for about one call shift per month, and this is a good opportunity for our fellows to maintain their general radiology interpretation skills. There are also outside opportunities here during your fellowship. If you're interested in doing external moonlighting, we can help to arrange that both here with the North Florida South Georgia VA, as well as other local healthcare facilities. Please feel free to reach out to us if you're interested in these opportunities. There are also some nice perks to being an MSK fellow here at the University of Florida. You'll have the opportunity to attend the Orthopedic Oncology Path course, which is sort of like AARP for Orthopedic Oncology. By virtue of our relationship with the sports teams here, we also have the opportunity to attend two to three home games per year and watch the games from the sidelines. For anybody that has even a passing interest in college football, this is an amazing opportunity and I strongly encourage it. That's where you'll be standing. Now, in general, when I throw up a slide and start talking about IT infrastructure, most people's eyes glaze right over. But as some of you have figured out already during your residency training, this is a really important topic. And I have great news for you. We have a fantastic IT infrastructure here at UF Health. We use Epic for our electronic medical record, PowerScribe 360 for voice recognition. All of this is integrated together using Radiant, and we're in the process now of ramping up Primordial for our workflow optimization. We use Visage for our PAC system, and for data mining, we use Empower. Several years ago, we transitioned to the Visage PAC system. It's super user-friendly, streamlined, and fully integrated with Epic and PowerScribe 360. On the fly, you can do real-time multiplanar and 3D processing, as well as customize your own hanging protocols. For data mining, we use the Empower component of PowerScribe. It allows you to search all cases in our imaging archive database, so if you want to make an amazing teaching file, put together a case report or case series, or once you have IRB approval, do retrospective analysis. We have fantastic technology here at the University of Florida. Multiple 320 and 640 slice CT scanners, multiple dual energy CT scanners, multiple 3 Tesla and 1.5 Tesla magnets. We're doing MR neurography, CT fluoroscopy, whole body MRI, and our hardware artifact suppression is outstanding. Scholarly activity is strongly encouraged during your time in fellowship, but it's not mandatory. We have an annual research week that the residents, fellows, and attending physicians are able to participate in and present their research. We also have monthly journal clubs for those that are interested in participating. So what about the culture here at UFMSK? It's a friendly professional atmosphere and we have caring faculty who are going to invest themselves fully in your development to becoming an outstanding musculoskeletal radiologist. What about life in Gainesville? Gainesville is a mid-sized city of 150,000 people, and we're also the home of the University of Florida, so there are a lot of young people doing a lot of fun things. Not just undergraduate students, but medical students, dental students, law students, and members of all of the residency training programs here. Gainesville has a great downtown and vibrant bar scene, as well as hosts multiple art and music festivals throughout the year. During the warm months of the year, we have free Friday night concerts at the Bo Diddley Community Plaza, so it's a great place to go check out local, regional, and national touring acts. And as I mentioned before, we're the home of the University of Florida, so if you have even a passing interest in college athletics, this is a great place to scratch that itch. Gainesville stacks up very well with the national average with regards to the cost of living index. So what that means is that you can live well here without a lot of hassles. We have short average commute times, an outstanding public school system, and tons to do outdoors. Now, one of our section members, Dr. Davis, is an avid golfer, and he insisted that I make sure that everybody knows that there is a plethora of golfing opportunities here. And if you're looking to hit the links, make sure you talk to him. North Central Florida also has the highest concentration of freshwater springs in the world, which is a great way to beat the heat in the summertime. We also have a dedicated lake campus shown here in the top right photo, Lake Wahlberg, which is a gorgeous recreation facility about 10 miles south of the campus. With your Gator One ID card, you get in for free. It's a great place to spend some time or get out on the water. We have multiple road races that happen throughout the year. And we also have a very well-developed rails to trail system that crisscrosses the city of Gainesville. 
All of the bike trails in the city of Gainesville converge on the Depot Park downtown, a fantastic outdoor recreation facility uh, which is in close proximity with downtown. From the Depot Park area, you can take the Hawthorne Trail, a large rails to trails system that goes from the city of Gainesville out to the city of Hawthorne, approximately 16 miles away. It's a gorgeous trail and a great way to get outdoors, enjoy some fresh air and some exercise. Gainesville is consistently ranked one of the bike friendliest cities in the United States. There are other ways of getting around Gainesville as well. We have an outstanding nationally acclaimed regional transportation system, the RTS. With your Gator One ID shown here, you ride that system for free. There are also other options for getting around Gainesville if you choose not to own a car. We have Lyft, Uber, Zipcar, and Zip Bikes. Gainesville is situated in North Central Florida, which means that you can get to both coasts, Orlando, Tampa, or Jacksonville with relative ease in a single day trip. If you're heading east, we have Jacksonville, St. Augustine, or some of the smaller beach towns along the east coast. The top left image here shows St. Augustine, which is the oldest city in the continental United States. A lot of history in that location, a great place to spend a weekend or spend a day. The bottom right image shows Jacksonville, Florida. It's more of a metropolitan experience. It's where the St. Johns River empties out into Atlantic Ocean and is also the host city for the Florida Georgia game that occurs on Halloween weekend every year. The east coast of Florida has some of the most consistent waves along the eastern seaboard. So if you want to get out into the water, it's an easy day trip from Gainesville. For those that are interested in the Gulf Coast, Cedar Key is the closest city from Gainesville. It's about an hour away and is a small fishing community. It's a great place to spend the day on the water, enjoying coastal activities, or just enjoying some of the best seafood that Florida has to offer. Some of our trainees catch the fishing bug during their time down here, and we have tons of opportunities for both freshwater and saltwater fishing for those that are interested. The theme parks of Central Florida are a short drive away, and some people choose to get an annual pass during their time here. Gainesville, Florida is a fun place to live and a great place to train. What about our fellow graduates? Where have they gone on to the next chapters of their careers? As you can see from this data, which goes back approximately nine years, our graduates go all over the country, California, New Orleans. Some choose to stay in Florida, some choose to go elsewhere, Nashville, Atlanta, South Carolina, the Northwest to Washington State, Georgia, the Northeast, the Midwest, Las Vegas, Nevada. So the question now is where would you like to practice and how can we help get you there? For those that are interested in applying to our fellowship program, go to our website, xray.ufl.edu and click on the fellowship button. From there, navigate to the musculoskeletal fellowship program at the bottom of the list and click on our page. Then you can click on the inquiring applicants tab in order to find out more information, including how to apply. Here's some additional helpful information about the city of Gainesville where you can find out more about the city itself and things to do here in town. For those that are interested in crunching some numbers, there's a cost of living index calculator at the bottom of the list. Thank you again for letting me share this information with you regarding our musculoskeletal fellowship training program. Please let us know how else we can assist you during your fellowship application process. Come train with us and of course, go Gators.